Hi, uh, welcome back. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to change this socket for one of these new USB sockets. Okay, what we need to do also is uh, make sure the electricity is turned off. Um, you can do that. There's four ways you can do it really. Is you can use one of these, which is a plug-in tester. Unless you do electrics, you won't necessarily have one of these, but you might be able to borrow one off somebody. You plug it in, and it makes a noise. I'm just going to demonstrate this by turning the actual switch off. So when you actually turn the electric off at the fuse board, that's what happens. So it's making a high-pitched whistle, and you've got two green lights on. So what happens is, is when you go and turn this circuit off, I'll just demonstrate this. It kills the power, which obviously turns this off. The other thing you can do is if you're not sure about which fuse it is, is turn the whole fuse board off at the main on off switch on the fuse board. That will turn the circuits off to the entire house. But if you know the circuit that you are on, you just turn it off at the fuse and it just turns it off so that's a plug-in tester if you haven't got one you can uh, you can buy them they're about uh, to be honest I can't remember but I think B&Q places like that or electrical wholesaler will sell these the other thing you you can do if you've got one is one of these testers and what this does it it checks for ele mains electricity by making a noise like that and it illuminates that's going into the live part of the socket again if you haven't got one of these uh, and you haven't got one of the other things what I would do is I would plug something in there like a light a table lamp or something or a kettle or something that you've got lying around switch it on so it's working and then turn the power off at the fuse board to the entire house or the circuit that you know and what that will do is turn the kettle off or turn the light off and you you're pretty sh certain that that's a dead circuit then and then what you can do then is you can start to take this socket apart and then fit this one okay i'll now go and turn the fuse off um, at the uh, at the fuse board or the circuit board okay I've turned the circuit off now so that's killed this so I know this circuit is dead so if we take the uh, screws out uh, on some sockets you might find that they're painted around this one's a little bit done uh, you can always run a Stanley blade just around the edge which cuts the paint so when you take your socket off, if it's been there for a, a year, a few years or something, you've been decorated around it, you um, you can cut around with a Stanley knife around there and just pull the socket away. It doesn't pull your paint off. God, these are long screws. Right. Long, long screws. Okay, so on here you'll see this is the live, this is the neutral or the line conductor and this is the earth. So what you'll find is it's got the new colours and the old colours, new colours and old colours. So that's black and blue which is neutral and you've got red or brown which, are, which is the line or live connector. So in older houses this one will be black. Uh, sorry this one will be red and this one will be black but in modern houses you've got the blue and the brown and then these two here are your earth conductors or cpc so we just disconnect this here Okay. 
So with this, we can then double check to make sure these are the circuits turned off. It's a dead circuit. There's no live there, no current going through the cables. Okay, so this. So on here, so it's got brown, blue, and two halves in the middle. So this is your live, that's your neutral. They're quite close together and they're not very deep. So where this is quite long on here, it might be necessary just to trim them off slightly. Uh, the other thing you may find that in some houses the the wiring actually inside the socket is not really long enough um, if you're not competent to extend these uh, then it might be uh, wise to get an electrician round just to uh, extend the cables out uh, what they do they, they trim it back a little bit put an extension a bit of 2.5 cable in with a crimp and that will extend it out so it will fit the socket this is pretty uh, a pretty new um, extension on the wiring so the cable is quite long here so basically what I'm doing here I'm connecting the new the sorry the earths in It doesn't matter really which way you do it, but I'm going to put the earths in first. Which are there. I'm just going to just loosen it off a bit, push that in, that's it, that's fine. This one will go in here. And the reason why I'm putting two separate earths in is if one of these comes out and you do a circuit test on the whole circuit, you'll find that this hasn't got any um, continuity between it so you know you've got a broken earth somewhere in the circuit which means then you then you have to go and uh, trace it all out and find out where the broken circuit is all right as you can see they stick out quite a bit so i might just trim those down slightly so i'm just going to get some cutters okay so what i'll do here is i'll just trim off a little bit of cable so when it goes in there it will sit in there up to the insulation so. So put the two the two lives in or the line conductors Just to make sure they're in there okay. Same with the neutrals. Just trim these down just a little bit. See, I only cut a very small bit off. Because in the old socket, these, these holes were a bit deeper. So you could put the cables in and they would go down to the insulation line. So then... We'll go in there like so so blue into blue brown into brown tighten it down okay that's just now off just push that in that's better So that's all in there that's nice and tight okay the, this is slideable uh, insulation on there then feed this back into the socket like so pretty long screws on here just to get these in So I'm looking down at the top to where the screw hole is. So 
so I know roughly where it is. Can be quite fiddly. Okay, I'm just going to pause this a sec. Okay, that's nearly all screwed up now. What you'll have is one of these sockets, uh, one of the actual uh, screw holes on the back of the actual back box is adjustable. So you can move it up and down and align it properly if you need to. Uh, I don't know which one it is on here. I think it's the other one. So that's done up. Okay, it's that one there, so... So that's that done. Plug in that and go back and switch the electrical. Okay, as you can hear, the whistling's going, which means it's all connected properly. If um, if you do have one of these, or you do get one, they're very good because because the two green lights are on, it tells you that the wiring's correct. If the red one flashes or you get an alternation alternating light pattern down here it will tell you that um, that uh, it's got a missing earth or it's got a live earth reversed uh, it tells you what down here so basically what you do turn the power off at the fuse board again take it off change the wiring around connect it back up plug this in away you go um, this hasn't got any switches on it because it's only got it's got four USB outputs. If you want uh, a USB, if you want a USB, uh, sorry, if you want a double socket with a switch, you will only most probably only get two USBs, not four. All right. Hope that was helpful. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you would um, and like it. Share it if you want to. Uh, I'll be doing more how-to videos pretty soon. Keep watching. Thanks very much.